Jonathan LaPaglia. G'day. Mate, what an introduction. Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I mean... It's... I wasn't pulling anything, mate. I was just going, for, going along for the ride. <laughs> now, at any point, are you questioning like many of us are at home when you've got the power couple with Lionel and this is the chance to yeah. get rid of them. Are you yourself at Tribal yeah. Council when the vote's reading out? Are you scratching your head going, what are you doing, you fools? Uh, a- absolutely. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and, and also, when I'm watching the show, you know, I haven't seen any of the stuff that goes on at the beach. I mean, I've heard reports back from the producers, but I haven't really seen any of the details. So when I watch it all back and all the manipulation, I'm like, oh, my God, I'm throwing stuff at the screen. I'm like, what are you guys <laughs> <laughs> now, the incredible oh, part for God. me at this point is they are now breaking records. They're 50-plus days in, longer than I think any Survivor contestants have gone ever. I really noticed Crazy. it with Sam. He was a big bloke. He had plenty of muscle mass, and you just see how much he's wasted away. Yes. Like, yeah, for you, yeah. you're out there, but have, did you notice it too as they were going along just – the physical effects it had on them, and, and having been out there, can you tell us more about how difficult it was for them, just the whole experience? Well, I, I think it's, it's actually hard to get uh, um, a sense of really how difficult it is out there. It's unbelievably hot. I mean, I'd be out those challenges, and I would feel nauseous just from the heat. And they're out in it all day long. And then at night, there would be these torrential rains, and they'd always turn up at like two three in the morning and you know in the middle of the night and you know the shelter they had was garbage so they were wet often at night so there's no sleep there's the physical duress of doing those challenges there's the heat and then there's the mental challenge of the game itself the strategy trying not to be the next person being voted out it's really taxing on those guys and Jonathan, um, Matt has said that since returning home, he suffered from horrible nightmares and he's still struggling to get back to normal. Do the guys have uh, support post-show just to help them mentally? I, you know, I don't know if there is uh, um, something in place for that, but if there is, I wouldn't mind actually taking part in that because, uh, you know, I'm feeling a little, uh, you know, post-traumatic stress syndrome myself after doing the show, so... If you find out about a support program, let me know because I'd definitely like to take part in that.